Hello Virgo, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Monday the 20th to Sunday the 26th of July 2020. I've already pre-shuffled the Rider Waite tarot deck and the Universe Has Your Back Oracle deck just to save a little bit of time and so I just want to take this moment to ask if you can subscribe to my channel that would help me out I would greatly appreciate it um, and don't forget to leave me your comments your like and share and um, look at your moon rising in Venus as well for extra information or just in case this doesn't resonate with you and if you'd like to make a donation to my channel it would be greatly appreciated I have a link in the description box below, so you can use that to make a donation. So, let's see, Virgo, what cards come up for you this week? First card, Two of Pentacles. Second card, Eight of Pentacles. Third card is the Strength card. Fourth card is the King of Wands. Are you dealing with a fire sign? Leo, perhaps? So, bottom cards are Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Knight of Wands. And the World card. see what the universe has your back has to say. This came up for another reading earlier today. Um, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So, let me have a look at your cards for a second here. So you have two major arcana, so they are they are important to your reading. We have strength and the world. Something is wrapping up for you, and it requires strength on your part. Um, it requires strength because, um, like this card says, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So. When one thing ends, another begins, but it's a whole new cycle, so it's uh, hard to know what this new cycle is going to look like, what, um, how it will turn out. And um, usually Virgo, they like to plan a lot. They analyze everything. They, they don't really want to make a decision or a move until they're pretty sure of the outcome, that the outcome will be what they want it to be. So that requires a lot of strength. But I think that you're going to do it because uh, we have the world card, you know. You can't go back to the way things were. There's no uh, going in reverse. You can't live in reverse. When you get the world card, that's that's the end of a cycle. It's it means a new one is about to happen for you. Now this could involve a fire sign because they see quite a bit of fire here. Virgo, your earth sign, I see pentacles, I see a lot of pentacles, I see a lot of fire, and then I have one sword card, the six of swords. 
This can also indicate a journey, especially with the world card here. Some of you may have to travel, not all of you. It could just be metaphorical. You're leaving one cycle, moving into a different one here. Something that I feel will be much better uh, because we're leaving rough waters for calmer waters here. Um, I think you're really in your head about this. Perhaps you've been in your head about it for a while. But I think that you're coming to the conclusion that uh, there's only one way and that's forward. Um, you may have been uh, playing with this thought in your head for a while with the um, Two of Pentacles and the Strength card. You see this juggler is juggling his pentacles. He's forming an infinity and she has an infinity above her head. So I feel like uh, you've really been weighing this up. There's a lot of waves in the background here. You see what I was saying with the Six of Swords. There's a lot of emotions here, turbulent emotions. But I feel like once you make this decision, this realization, um, the journey will get smoother. It just may be a little rough at the moment because like I said, you don't know what, what comes next. I feel like um, you understand now that there needs to be a, f a fair balance here. If give and take the six we have two six so it talks about harmony the six in the uh, major arcanas is the lovers so it's like perfect balance uh, connection with another person so I have six of pentacles six of swords the only way to escape from this emotional turbulence is to um, make things right to uh, balance things out. See, this person is holding the scale, justice. So it's like a willingness to put in the work, a willingness to invest, to give to a connection. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So this talks about work, a lot of work, um, willing to work something to make it the best it can be so if this is a relationship that's what you're you're uh, working on what, what you're thinking about what you're juggling with what you've been thinking about I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person we have uh, King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Um, so someone wants to rush in with this connection. The Strength card can also uh, talk about Lust. Um, in the Thought deck, it's called the Lust card. So. You might have to, you might have a lot of passion for this person, and so you may need to um, control that urge. You may have been controlling that urge for that person. But I feel like. Um, There's a new beginning here that's about to start, or that's what you're hoping, but there is something. Something's ending. Something in your world is coming to an end this week, because I feel like you're making that decision.
willing to give it a chance. Now, the, if this is uh, not a relationship, but more like a career thing, it could mean that uh, it's something you really want, you're very passionate about, and uh, it requires you to uh, end one form of employment, or it requires you to end the efforts in that in that direction, whatever you've been working with, it uh, requires you to put an end to that so you can pursue this uh, better option in employment. But it also requires you to put in extra work uh, to refine your skills. And for some of you, you may have to relocate for this work or this career. Uh, it could involve uh, entrepreneurial work. So we have the King of Wands here. Uh, this is someone who is very creative but very level-headed about it at the same time. I feel like the move, this move is a good move. It brings you to a calmer place. Um, I feel like this is just meant to happen. Whatever is coming to an end, it's meant to happen, and you can feel that, you sense it, but it uh, unnerves you at the same time. But the only thing you can do is move forward. You know, take the knowledge that you have with you on that journey. And whatever it is you don't know, or whatever skills you don't have, it's a good time to start refining those, uh, to perfect them. But I feel like you already know a lot. You already have a lot of understanding, a lot of wisdom you can take on this journey, whether it's uh, literal or metaphorical. So it involves a certain amount of trust in the universe, but these cards are indicating that uh, that would be a wise choice to make, to trust, and just go for it. So I hope that uh, made sense for you. I hope it was helpful. If it was and leave me a comment give me a like share and uh, have a look at your moon rising and venus as well for more information and uh, we'll see you for the following week